Hello, my fellow parasites. Parasites, apologize! No. Anyway, welcome to Season 4 of the Venom Vlog. This season we'll be covering Venom 2 movie news, more classic Venom and Carnage stories, the Spider-Man Maximum Venom animated series, and all comics involving Eugene Flash Thompson. So sit back and enjoy another exciting episode of The Venom Vlog. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching The Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about the art of Patrick Brown, who I'm a huge fan of. And back in season one, I think it was Ivan Coelho, who I first was like, you know, I saw his artwork in uh, Venomverse, I think, and then Venomized after that, and I immediately gravitated to his style. I w and I know some of you guys were like, no, I like the more realistic style. I like this. And I'm like, yeah, I like different styles of Venom. I like Ryan Stegman's version of Venom. I like, you know, uh, you know, uh, Mark Bagley's version of Venom. I like everyone's version of Venom for the most part. Uh, but when I saw Yvonne's style, I was like, you know, I really dug that and I gravitated to it. And I did an episode or two kind of showcasing his artwork. And I want to do that here, you know, for, for Maximum Venom to help promote that show, uh, but also promote Patrick Brown's artwork because it's fantastic it's beautiful stuff and even if you're not a Venom fan like the rest of us are um, first of all welcome to the show if you're not a Venom fan because uh, this show is all about Venom but if you're a fan of other things you know check out Patrick's artwork and check out his Instagram I'll put a link down below he posts so much great stuff Marvel DC you know outside of those two universes he draws so much and he's a uh, amazing at it he does great right you know really great designs and great concepts and um and i think he's done packaging art for different toys and things like that and um different designs for cartoons and he's got a, just an amazing style and it kind of lends himself to being someone who would work in animation or, or you know that kind of field or you know promotional art or something because his you know the colors the the styles he uses it really draws your eye and so i wanted to kind of shine a spotlight on him because i think he's awesome and i also want to talk about the show coming up maximum venom because i'm excited for it and after going to d23 and learning about some of the stuff and hearing the panel talk about it um I, they really got me on board and uh, you know i mean how could i not be it's a cartoon where venom is kind of the focus and i saw people who haven't really kept up with marvel spider-man which is the current cartoon this is season three and it's going to be the final season of the show and it's not only wrapping up the spider-man show but it's also wrapping up guardians of the galaxy and i think some of the other shows that tied into this continuity some of them were retconned like ultimate spider-man web warriors all that I think some of those were retconned, but they used to be part of this universe in some way, uh, but they kind of did like a soft reboot when they did Marvel Spider-Man, um, but still Guardians of the Galaxy cartoon is kind of part of this. I think Hulk, uh, Agents of Smash, and Avengers might be on some level, like a loose continuity, um, so this is kind of summarizing and wrapping up all of those shows in one big season, which is six episodes long, and each episode is one hour long, and they're gonna start airing on Disney XD in April of this year, 2020. Uh, so yeah, when I heard all that, I'm like, how can I not be excited for that? I mean, they're taking, you know, the invasion, the plan of the symbiotes, they're taking that storyline, mixing it with Venomized and Venomverse a little bit, and they're just going crazy with it. And so you're gonna see Venom versions of Captain America and Hulk and all this stuff, and all that comes back to Patrick Brown and his artwork. And I guess he was hired by Marvel to do some promotional artwork for the show. And we saw Venom site, our friends over at the Venom site, got like an exclusive to show some of the artwork off first. Uh, but then Patrick posted on his Instagram and then he was told, to, you know, by Marvel, hey, please take it down. We have an exclusive somewhere and, you know, we'll, we'll tell you when you can share it. So it got up there for like a couple of days and then, or like a day or so, and then it had to be taken down. Uh, but now he's been posting it up again, which is awesome. And he's uh, not only just showing the final images, but in some of them, he's showing sketches of things that, uh, you know, that haven't been seen yet and like how he built up this version and shows some of the different designs before he got to the final version and so I don't want to give away all that stuff I'm going to show some images here like uh, you know we have first I want to show a couple images that aren't part of the show but just to give you a you know a look at his you know style and artwork um, you know we have Venom here first uh, you know obviously Eddie Brock Venom uh, just a great design this is not the design that's kind of used in the cartoon this is more of Patrick's, you know, artwork in general. Uh, he also released this image of Carnage, which looks really awesome. And he's done different versions of Carnage for different versions of Spider-Man and cartoons and stuff before. Um, and then also promotional art as well. And then you have this image of Spidey, like riding his spider motorcycle, which is really cool. So those three images aren't really tied to Maximum Venom. But that's just to give you kind of a, a sense of his style. Uh, but what is tied to Maximum Venom are the images he's been posting up over the past few days, which is this one here, which is Captain America as Venom. 
And again, some of these you've probably seen before through Venom site and other things. But if you actually swipe through these images when you go to his Instagram, you'll see other versions of these characters, ones that weren't made, that didn't make the final cut, and even some rough sketches of some of them. And it's fantastic. And like I said, I don't want to give away everything here, but I'll just give away, you know, just a couple things here so you can see it here and then go to the link below and follow him and check out his artwork there for sure. Because I want to promote that guy as well, because now he's part of the parasites with the rest of us. He's a part of the Venom, uh, you know, family that we build. So uh, welcome, Patrick. Uh, we love your stuff. And uh, and so, you know, we have Captain America, which we just showed. There's a version of Spider-Man. And this is one I want to talk about big time. And I talk about it in my toy videos. But in case you didn't watch those, people have been asking me, why is Spider-Man in a white costume? Like, why does he have a white symbiote? Why didn't they just do the black costume? Well, again, you probably haven't been watching the show, which I would say, you know, please give it a try. Go back. It's worth a second look. I've been re-watching some of them now. I mean, I've, I've never seen the show before until I learned about these guys at D23. And then I started watching a couple episodes. And then I said, you know what? I'm just going to, now it's on Disney+. Plus. Uh, so I've been just watching through. And you can see Spider-Man Unlimited back there. We're going to do an episode on that coming up very, very soon too. Uh, because I want to talk about Spider-Man and Venom in other mediums, you know, like cartoons and stuff, to lead up to Maximum Venom when that comes out. Uh, so like I said, it's season three, essentially, of the Spider-Man show called Marvel Spider-Man. You can watch the whole first two seasons on Disney Plus right now, um, and that'll kind of catch you up on most things that are happening. Except there's also Guardians of the Galaxy episodes that have Venom or symbiotes in them. You can watch those too, but I was told that you don't have to watch those to understand the story that they're going to tell in Maximum Venom. You can just watch the Spider-Man cartoon. So that's good to know too. So there's not too much catching up you got to do. But uh, I'll also help you guys catch up very soon too. We'll do episodes focusing on Venom in different animated series like Spider-Man Unlimited, uh, Sensational Spider-Man, and then also uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, Web Warriors, all those. And then into, you know, the current Spider-Man story that is happening now that's going to conclude in this upcoming cartoon Maximum Venom. Uh, so yeah, so I, I love this stuff, but the white suit there is because he doesn't have, it's not Venom. This is a show where symbiotes, they're like, you know, Clintar in this timeline has exploded. It was destroyed, I guess, kind of by accident in a way, uh, and, perp and on purpose too, by the Guardians of the Galaxy. And they knew they were risking wiping out an entire race. But a chunk of Clintar survived with a bunch of symbiotes on it. And that chunk, I guess, is coming towards Earth. And so it's an invasion story, pretty much. And so that's where all these symbiotes are going to crash land on Earth. And uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Avengers, and Spider-Man all have to team up to kind of deal with this massive threat. And yes, Eddie Brock is going to play uh, a central part in it, from what I understand, just from, you know, gleaming stuff. Not from what I've heard directly from anyone. So, you know, I could be wrong. But just from the stuff I've been gleaming, it looks like uh, that Eddie Brock will play an essential part in the overall storyline. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. And so for that reason, how could I not be excited? You know, I love Eddie Brock. So, um, so this cartoon, you know, Spider-Man's in the, the white because he's not Venom. It's not a Venom suit. He's already been in the black costume in the show. So you can see that in previous episodes. Uh, but this is now a different symbiote bonded to him. Uh, there's also the Hulk, you know, so you're going to see a version of the Hulk that has, uh, you know, the Venom symbiote. And, I, and the Hulk has had a Venom symbiote, I think, before. Uh, they had a, a cartoon called uh, Hulk Agents of Smash. And I believe there was an episode in there with the symbiote and it might have bonded with Hulk there. And that's from like, you know, a decade ago or something like that. It's an older cartoon, maybe less, a little less than a decade. Um, but that's an older cartoon, and that is part of the drifting continuity of the previous Spider-Man cartoon uh, that were kind of all tied together. But uh, but so we've seen Hulk Venomized before. Also recently in the comics, we saw him in uh, Absolute Carnage. But uh, this is, you know, a different version of it with tongues coming off of him. And hopefully he'll last more than like, you know, two minutes, which is in Absolute Carnage. He was, you know, barely a, a Venom Hulk for like he was it was so quick. It was over so quick. and It was disappointing. So hopefully the cartoon makes up for that and we get to see a lot of Hulk as Venom. That would be really awesome. Uh, then there's other characters like Iron Man, of course. Um, there's Captain Marvel. Uh, there's uh, Iron Heart. Uh, she's a younger character who's been teaming up with Spider-Man in some of the cartoons and like the the you know Marvel Rising one shots and other episodes and stuff too. And they all again kind of share a continuity. Um, we're gonna see Gwenum, which is gonna be really cool. Uh, I love that character. I love Spider Gwen or Ghost Spider now she's called. Um, then also Miles Morales. We're going to see him in a suit. And you've already heard me in my toy episodes, but I really wish they would call him Spider Carnage. Uh, he looks awesome and he would be a great modern version of Spider Carnage. Uh, since the original Spider Carnage was Ben Riley, the clone of Spider-Man, um, it would have been cool to see Miles more Carnage. -y. But he does look at least kind of Carnage, -y, which is awesome. 
Um, and yeah, there's there's other characters too. I, like I said, I don't want to give everything away here. I want to kind of direct you guys to Patrick's uh, Instagram, and I want you guys to check out his artwork yourself. And also, hopefully, you guys give the the show a chance. Like you know, if you have Disney Plus or if you have Amazon or whatever, you can rent you know buy the episodes or whatever. Um, please check it out. It's it's worth a second look. I think a lot of people. You know, we talk about all the show on the show all the time. It's like sometimes things are made not for us as fans. You know, it's like it's not for us as older fans. It's for a new audience and a new, you know, try to bring in new fans of Venom. And that's kind of what the Spider-Man cartoon is. So it is geared very much skewed to a younger audience. So I get why people aren't digging it on some level, why they think, oh, that's not, I don't like this characterization. I don't like that characterization. It's like, yeah, but it's not really for us. I mean, in a way it is because we're fans. So it's like, of course, we're like, well, yeah, I can, I could check it out. You know, I'm, I'm a fan. I have an open mind. And then you watch it and you're kind of like, yeah, it's not for me. That's okay to feel that way. It is kind of for a younger audience. So when I was watching it, I was like trying to think of that. I was like, yeah, you know, like I work at Lego and I talk to, you know, there are kids that come in all the time and they love the cartoon. And they're like, hey, you know, my kids want uh, the new Spider-Man from, you know, the new show or whatever. And Lego just released actually a Maximum Venom Lego set, a Spider-Man one it doesn't have the title maximum venom on it um but it says spider-man on it and it has an iron venom in it in in the set with carnage um and spider-man so yeah you know trust me they're the, the toy companies out there they know what they're doing and uh, uh there, there is an audience there are kids that come in and they this is their first time being introduced to spider-man is with this cartoon so you, you can't you know you can not be a fan of it that's fine but to i see people dog the show all the time and it's like okay you don't have to go that far it's uh if it's not for you it's not for you that's fine but just remember who it is for it's for someone like you when you were a kid like i grew up with the 90s spider-man cartoon uh that wasn't my first introduction to spider-man uh you know the spider-man is amazing friends was uh but even that that's a completely different take that's like a threes company version of spider-man where he's like living with firestar and uh, Iceman, I think, and they they were like roommates, and uh, the three of them would just go fight crime together and stuff, and it's like, and that was not from any of the comics or anything, it was just like a funny sitcom version of Spider-Man as a cartoon, and uh, and I know some people who, if they'd watch that, they'd be like, well, that's not the real Spider-Man, it's like, yeah, but you you get introduced to these characters in the generation you're you know raised in and that was my generation was that and then into the 90s i was like hey this is cool and people like my younger brother are lucky to have this version of spider-man which is more comics accurate than the one i watched um but still that's that's what it is you know that's why it has to be different they don't want to retread the comics too much they don't want to retread old shows and just do what other people have done they want to try new things and so for that reason i've been enjoying the show and that's why i'm getting so excited for this upcoming season so yeah anyway i went on a little rant there about uh, the new show that's why i'm just trying to explain to you guys you know i try to keep an open mind uh, i think patrick said on his instagram that his style that he's done for these promo images has actually affected some of the um the look of the show. So if you're not a fan of the look of the recent show, um, I apparently might change a little bit. We haven't really seen too much and the show comes out in a month's time and we haven't really seen a solid trailer for it yet. So I imagine we're gonna get one pretty soon. Um, at least I hope we do. And uh, they have just released a video that is like 11 minutes long and it kind of gives you the history of the show and it leads you up into, so, you know, into the new season. So if you guys want to learn more, I'll put a link to that down below as well uh, underneath Patrick's, uh, you know, his Instagram account. Check that out too. It's on the Marvel HQ YouTube show uh, or their YouTube channel. And that shows you like 11 minutes and it basically it does an overview of the entire cartoon so far to lead you up into Maximum Venom. So the fact that they released that a couple days ago, I feel like that means we're probably going to get a trailer pretty soon too. And I will definitely do a trailer reaction for you guys when that happens and we'll do more discussion at that time. But for now, check that link out, check out Patrick's artwork, follow him, support his stuff. Um, amazing. I love his stuff so much. And to see him, uh, you know, reach this level because i've heard about him years ago and to see him kind of reach this level and and doing all this stuff is is fantastic and as a fan i want artists that i really love and appreciate to be loved and appreciated by others and that's why i wanted to make this episode to kind of turn you guys on to patrick's artwork if you haven't already seen i know a lot of you guys have because when i go like his pictures i already see like bruce and a couple other people already liking his images so that's great um, yeah, so for those of you who haven't, though, uh, go check it out. It's pretty awesome stuff. And let me know what you think of these designs of the cartoon. If you have any opinions of it, you know, feel free. Even if you have a dissenting opinion, I'm not, you know, I haven't seen all the episodes yet. I'm still going through and rewatching some of them, but I'm trying to get ready so I can be prepared for knowing the story going into, you know, Maximum Venom. And, uh, and I'm very excited for Maximum Venom. So I hope you guys are too. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace.